Neil deGrasse Tyson warns, an asteroid will hit Earth sooner than expected. In a memorable TV interview, America's most popular physicist explained what will happen when the 360-meter-wide rock from space hits the Pacific Ocean off Santa Monica at 25,000 kilometers per hour. House high waves and a global catastrophe would plunge the west coast of the USA into Armageddon, and the world would no longer be the one we once knew after the event. The asteroid Apophis will certainly pass unusually close to Earth for the first time on April 13, 2029. Astronomers at NASA have known this since 2004, when the 337-meter-wide asteroid first appeared on scientists' radar screens. Its first close encounter with Earth will not pose a serious threat. The all-clear was also initially given for the second encounter, but then a team of scientists from Canada issued a warning to the public. Just a few meters from Apophis's trajectory in 2029 could decide the fate of the entire human race. If Apophis flies past the Earth at a very specific angle, its next visit on April 13, 2036 could be fatal. Scientists call this specific area the keyhole. Of course, the area is not a real keyhole. It is more of a theoretical probability. In this triangle, the physical parameters of the Earth, space, and the asteroid come together in such a way that Apophis's orbit could be significantly diverted. It would therefore be the keyhole for this chunk to enter the Earth's atmosphere, and it would be the beginning of a disaster. The last really big impact was millions of years ago. 66 million years ago, an asteroid around 15 kilometers in size crashed into the sea off the coast of what is now Mexico, destroying the face of the Earth at that time. The dinosaurs disappeared. Huge fires raged across the North and South American continents. Tsunamis raced through the Caribbean and along the coasts of North and South America. Within a few hours, the shaking of the atmosphere, toxic fumes and ash had plunged the entire globe into an inferno that was hard to imagine. The climate changed, it became cold, food disappeared, and with it, the largest animals that have ever populated this globe. In the last 100 years, two memorable events have sent us a warning. We must not underestimate the danger and inferno that asteroids bring with them. On June 30, 1908, an asteroid or comet exploded in the atmosphere over Tunguska in Siberia, unleashing an energy that destroyed thousands of square kilometers of forest. There were no confirmed human casualties due to the remoteness of the region, but the event left a deep impression of the potential destructive power of celestial bodies. Millions of trees lay there after the event, burnt, snapped like matchsticks, and if people had lived there, there would have been thousands of deaths. The inhabitants of Chelyabinsk experienced firsthand what it means when a comparatively small meteor falls from the sky. The shock was not so long ago. On February 15, 2013, some residents of the city first saw a strange bright spot in the sky, then a kind of fire trail, and finally there was a bang. The spectacle was caused by a meteor only about 20 meters in size. Nevertheless, the effects were terrible. Most of the victims were shaken by the shockwave of the explosion or suffered severe cuts as they stood at the window and gazed at the strange bright visitor. Just a second after the meteor exploded, the glass panes in more than 1,000 houses in the city shattered. Randomly flying fragments cut people, hands, faces, and eyes. And this meteor was only 30 meters tall. As the object exploded in the air after entering the Earth's atmosphere and never hit the ground, the scenario was harmless compared to what an asteroid several hundred meters long would do to the Earth. Nevertheless, 1,500 people were seriously injured in Chelyabinsk. The fatal thing about this visitor was that it came completely without warning. Day of the Apocalypse, Apophis is coming. It sounds ominous. This asteroid will very probably keep coming back until one day it hits the Earth safely. Neil deGrasse Tyson warns that a chain of stupid coincidences could confront mankind as early as 2036 with a scenario that will send a nasty shiver down our spines. If this chunk hits the ocean 500 miles off the coast of Southern California, as predicted by Tyson, five-story waves will pile up and roll more than half a kilometer inland, washing away everything in their path. Houses, hotels, villas, cars, supermarkets. Within a few hours, a 640-meter-wide strip from Southern California to the far north of the American continent would be completely destroyed. 
According to initial estimates, the damage could run into the trillions of dollars. The west of the USA is densely populated. The coasts are home to major cities such as San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Santa Monica. Right by the sea are multi-million dollar buildings, port and industrial facilities, amusement parks, and some of the most fashionable hotels and resorts in the USA. Due to failures and defects in the power supply and contamination of the sewage system, a much larger area than just the expected death zone of 640 meters would have to be evacuated. If Apophis really does hit in 2036 or later, the coastline two to three kilometers inland and possibly even further would be cleared weeks before impact. Nobody would want to take the risk of leaving people there if we don't know for sure whether the asteroid will crash into the sea as predicted. Imagine the effort involved. Cities with millions of inhabitants, largely evacuated, completely empty promenades, not a single ship left in the harbors. In metropolises that were once world-famous centers of life, there would be a deathly silence. Once the first wave had passed, meteorologists and oceanographers would have to keep an eye out for further effects. Further waves could hit island paradises such as Hawaii or Polynesia. No one knows how the shocks will affect the deeper layers of the atmosphere. If an asteroid the size of Apophis hurtled towards the Earth's surface, there would be serious atmospheric disturbances. A pressure wave would spread like in the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, and we cannot possibly say what effect this would have on the Earth's climate. The impact would be slowed down by water, but the shaking of the ocean would still be so enormous that the plates of the Earth's crust could tremble. In the south of the USA, the San Andreas Fault has been unstable for decades. The impact of Apophis could trigger the dreaded Great Earthquake that will rupture the Earth for hundreds of miles in the southern US. This would threaten the region with even more chaos and destruction. Chain reactions would be possible. Underwater volcanoes could bring an unusual amount of material to the surface. It is possible that the volcanism in Hawaii would go crazy. One thing is now certain. On April 13th, 2029, the asteroid will come dangerously close to Earth for the first time. Astronomers have calculated that the asteroid will come within about 32,000 kilometers of the planet, well below the limit at which geosynchronous satellites orbit the Earth. We will most likely be able to see this terrifying visitor with the naked eye over large parts of the world during its flyby. The Keyhole Threat of Impact in 2036? With the fate of our planet now closely tied to the orbit of Apophis, it only makes sense that astronomers are closely studying the orbit of this projectile around the clock. Apophis was first discovered in 2004 and was immediately placed on NASA's list of the most dangerous asteroids that could collide with Earth. With an estimated width of around 335 meters, Apophis quickly gained a reputation as a celestial object capable of plunging our planet into an unprecedented crisis. For a few days after the asteroid was discovered, astronomers were even certain that there was a 20% probability that it would hit the Earth in 2029. Then the all-clear was given. This estimate of the impact was corrected after astronomers closely tracked the asteroid and its orbit. When Apophis made a distant encounter with Earth in early March 2021, astronomers again took the opportunity to use powerful radar observations to reassess the estimate of its orbit around the Sun with extreme precision. Fortunately, new observations allowed them to rule out the risk of an impact in 2029 and the potential impact risk in 2036, unless Apophis hits a small region that became known as the Keyhole. If Apophis passes this area of space close to Earth in 2029, our planet's gravity may deflect the asteroid's orbit so that it is safely on a collision course in 2036. Nobody knows at the moment whether Apophis will hit this region. We have to wait until 2029. If this scenario were true, we would have seven years from that moment to prepare for the asteroid's visit and devise a defense plan. But we don't yet know for sure whether this would succeed. OSIRIS – Searching for Traces of the Most Dangerous Asteroids We cannot leave the safety of our planet to chance. NASA is aware of the risk. In general, the willingness to successfully fend off asteroids and comets in an emergency has increased. Since the turn of the millennium, there have been several international probes that have flown to asteroids and comets. We need to know more about these celestial bodies in order to be able to push them out of their deadly orbits in an emergency. The good news is that with a timely warning, 
Just a few centimeters or meters can be enough to push an asteroid on a collision course so far off its trajectory that it ends up on a path that rules out an impact. The calculations are carried out by computer simulations. In practice, however, we would first need to know how much force we would have to apply to move such a lump in space. In order to be able to act in an emergency, we need to know exactly how asteroids are structured, what shapes they have, and what materials they are made of. With the DART probe, NASA proved in 2022 that we humans are already theoretically capable of pushing an asteroid out of its orbit. Although the target Dimorphos was only a small asteroid far from Earth, the experiment was so successful that there is great hope that this can also be achieved with a larger asteroid. In 2016, the OSIRIS Pro was launched to the asteroid Bennu, which could also one day be on a collision course with Earth. As OSIRIS-REx, the probe collected valuable samples and brought them back to Earth. The mission then became OSIRIS-APEX. In just a few years, we will also have samples from Apophis in our hands. Subscribe to the channel now. The best and most exciting videos are yet to come.